What's cooking, everybody? I'm Baconopteryx, and welcome back to this crap hole called Deep Nest. Yep, I decided that I'm going to try to start every episode as close to my objective as possible because the longer I do daily uploads, the more I realize just how little the time truly is. Uh, why did the corpse crawler go the other way? Sir, yes, would you like to come back, please? Thank you. Also, I need to set my timer. Speaking of the time, <laughs> we can't have these episodes being too impossibly, stupidly, ridiculously long. Now, can we? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine having like an hour long episode or something? <laughs> That's definitely not something I would do. Hello, little grub. Yeah, I just couldn't get over here before. That one's simple enough to get. All right, cool. Um, what was this? Yeah, this is what I was faced with before. Oh, I missed. Oh, well. And then there's one above me and one below me, right? One quite a ways above me, so I'll go... Oh! I hate this place. All right, um, yeah. So I'm going for this one below me first. I'm trying not to land on anything. I... <laughs> I forgot I killed those guys in one hit. Come on, do it. Are you not going to turn into a corpse crawler? Okay, that's fine by me. Oh, okay. Somehow he still hit me. I say somehow, but he was below me. The hitboxes were not exactly, you know, in my favor there. Oh, hey, can you not, sir? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, where... Okay, so it's still down. So where is this grub? Give me money. I really don't need money, but I want it. Uh, so it's all the way on the other side of this. Hold up. Okay, how does this work? It should be, like, directly to... How about... What if I do this? Nope. That doesn't do anything. Okay, it's probably that ledge right there, huh? Gotcha. Yeah. It's definitely this part. Heal up real quick. Especially going into the darkness. I don't like this. Little grub! Aw, cute little guy. I, yeah, I was gonna say, there's too much here for it to just be that. Is that it? Down here? Why was this extra little part down here? Oh well. What? What's going on here, y'all? What is this? Oh. Oh, hello again. I mentioned you a episode or two or three ago you're not gonna move are you you're just gonna disappear are you still there what if i are you still there now no you're not okay i was gonna say i'm gonna be extra creeped out if he's still standing there when i get okay am i ha going to have to run away from something like those pits are unnerving me like they're placed there for me to dodge something Ooh, money All right, the, this is the breakable wall. What's going on, everybody? Oh, you're looking up now. Interesting. Why am I following this? I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. This is Hollow Knight. It's probably a bad thing, right? Oh, dear. Which way do I want to go? I kind of want to go down. Guess it's just more money. Okay. Why is it prepping me with so much money? Is there a reason for this? Oh! You moving now! Oh, wait, hold up. I swear I still saw it down there. He moving now. Yeah, I'll break this. See, I knew that wall was suspicious. All right. Now then, buddy. Seriously, why are these pits here? I don't like it. Oh, no. He went into another room. 
and it's still dark. I don't like this. I feel like, yeah, I don't like that sound. Oh, it's blocking me from going back. Oh, I hate this. Oh, oh, other vessels. So, brother, you would dare turn against me like this. Oh, you're not brother. Huh. What the Mick flip? Huh. <laughs> Nos. Okay. Oh, this is a different kind of boss arena. No Normally I'm fighting on flat ground, but this is not that. What do I do about this? Oh, gosh darn. Sir, sir, chill. G buzz off. What the heck? It's even got a stocking devout up here. Oh, it's on the ceiling? How is that fair? Wait, did I actually hit it? Oh, mama, please no. Oh my gosh, what am I supposed to do about this? I have no idea how to deal with this. Nope, it didn't come back down. Okay, cool. Um, is there any way for me to combat this, really? Ah, uh, <laughs> sir, please, please tell me you don't have a lot of health, because that would be great. In my personal opinion. Oh no! What the heck? Oh no! <laughs> this was the last bench I saved at! Oh no! <laughs> oh sweet mercy. What <laughs> was that? That was terrible. <laughs> I really should have saved at that bench by the hot springs holy crap okay so i'm going back i'm gonna cut all this out and uh yeah i'll be back when i'm back all right so here's the deal i took wayward compass and dash master off and now i've got the shaman stone i hate that you are already in this arena oh my gosh that's so messed up that's so messed up it just an immediate rush. Holy crap. Why? <laughs> what the heck? That it it didn't even give me like a brief introduction like most boss fights do. He just went straight at me while my shade was still here. Sir, ow. Gosh, why do you do this? At least I came in here with full soul since I went to the hot spring first. How am I supposed to compete with like this level of mobility and firepower? No. Okay, go away. I like how I can kind of see where it is based off the dust. Yeet! Okay, seriously. What do I do about this fight? Oh my gosh. Oh, come on, heal. Huh. Okay, I got a little bit of healing in. Oh, dang it, he didn't come down. Ow. Oh, come on, just heal. Yes, oh my gosh. <laughs> he barely missed me. <laughs> he barely missed me. <laughs> It's, oh, what, do you not have a hitbox right there? That's messed up. Oh, I thought I still had soul. Okay. Oh. What is this boss fight? This is insane. I can barely touch him. I, I don't understand what's going on, how I even compete with this. Oh, come on. As soon as the screen moves over is when I'm in trouble, I think. Okay, yeah. Come here. Huh, huh. No, okay. I just cannot tell when it's going to do what like that. Like, because when it reared up the first time when it came at me, I assumed it was going to do the spray thing, but it didn't. See, I keep thinking it's going to do it, but then it doesn't. How do I tell? Oh. No, sir. Please, please, stop. Oh, come on. Heal. Oh, okay, good. I have to, like, double jump every time I want to go over it. Oh, oh, come on. I was I was definitely out of range of that. Come on. Oh, no, you're up there now. At least I can charge this. That's pretty cool. I probably just can't dash while I've got it like this, right? Yeah. I, I didn't try, but, you know, that's what I'm assuming now. Oh, he's on the ceiling again. Oh, okay, that was rude. Really? What the heck? Okay, this actual piece of crap. I thought I had more health than that. What the flip is happening? 
I don't even know. Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> That was an unreal level of frustrating. I was right. It really didn't have that much health. I think every time it reared up and spewed its orange crap at me is effectively like when other bosses get, you know, stunned and breathless for a moment. I think that's what was happening. So if I got that twice, I was actually close. Hey, look, pale ore. Well, you know, I was actually close to freaking beating it. I did all that for pale ore. <laughs> that was, a, like I said, a completely different kind of frustrating. I'm pretty sure with Lost Kin, I'm frustrated just because I know I can be doing better if I just pay closer attention. That thing's mobility was extremely infuriating, though. Because it's like, wherever I went, it would also be there, or it'd be spewing orange crap at me right there. Oh, man. I'm just glad that's over. <sighs> I'm going to go back to the hot spring for a second. And, uh, yeah, heal up, get my Dash Master and Wayward Compass back, and then I'm going to, uh, and get all my soul, because why not? Oh, I never even realized that these things heal you, too. I thought it's just, like, they always had a bench next to them, so I'm like, the bench is for health, the hot springs are for soul. Got it. Oh, my gosh. That was the worst. Hopefully, that helped temper me in the sense that like maybe lost kin won't seem so bad anymore i've got a grub way above me now that i'm going for because gosh darn it that grub is gonna get rescued nope nobody can catch me can't touch this ain't in it all right excuse me can i just come up here thank you i just want ow i didn't even see you oh no excuse me sir please stop anyone I want to know exactly how much... I can dash with Great Slash. Okay. This ability is getting better the more <laughs> the more I learn about it. Can I jump with Great Slash? Oh my gosh. I have full mobility with Great Slash. Why? <laughs> okay. I am going to try and use that so much more. I was trying to use it on the Nosk, but that thing had too much mobility. Because if I tried to use it on that thing, the amount of, I don't know what you would call it, lag on the move, I guess. You know, just the, how long it takes you to move at the end of it. That little bit of time was too much. What? Hold up. Why is there like a thing right here? Can I go the other way? And like, have I ever gone the other way? What's going on over here? Okay, never mind. It doesn't seem like it's anything actually major or interesting, but I couldn't have gotten up here before. So is this a way you come back down? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I'm still going to the same place. And I'm going to grab this bench first, just to be safe. You know what I mean? Because especially after that Nosk encounter, I'm a little more on edge. Hey, yo, when was the last time I... Is this the last place I saw Cloth? I have not seen her since this. Since I was first here, have I? Where the flip has Cloth been? I want to talk to her. Because why not? Uh, so let's look at this for a second. 
I really hope this is going through deep nest, because if I have to go back through that fungal core or whatever, that's going to be annoying. Uh, sir, please stop. Alright. Now then. Okay, so, fortunately, I can s I've can. still got plenty of room to go up. I was worried it was going to have me crawl through one of these, uh... Oh! Uh, holes that these things keep going through to get to the grub. Um, but, fortunately, it seems... I don't have to do that. How much farther? Alright, so I want to go as far to the right as I can. As soon as I can. Uh, sir. Okay, thank you. And remember when these little pests took three hits to kill? I do. That was annoying. Sirs. Fortunately, they only take two now. And if I great slash them, they'll take one. But I'm not going to keep that charged at all times. That would just be a little excessive, don't you think? No, sirs. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Got to come down here. Have I ever actually been to this part? I don't know. I feel like I might have come here once just to peek in and then didn't actually go anywhere in here. Just like I did with the Fog Canyon area. I still need to go back there. And I hope I don't forget about it. So what's up here anyway? Oh no, I did have to come through here to get up the first time I went through this place. Because I didn't have the mobility I have now. That's not a breakable wall, so we're where Grubby Boy at? I don't know. Alright, so... This... Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna try it. I think I'm gonna try it. Nope, okay. That's not a thing I can do. Is it? Come on. I feel, I feel like that specific um, centipede thing entrance is suspicious. Then again, I think a lot of things in this game are suspicious that have no effect on anything. Alright, so... What am I doing about this grub? Oh, hey. Is, excuse me, sir. Yeah, thank you. I didn't realize there was money right here. Alright, cool. Well, now what? I really feel like there should be something here to get me to that grub. And it's bothering me that there isn't. Okay, that guy fell down there. Oh, here it is! Okay. I'm not always the best at finding breakable walls. I'd like to think I'm pretty good, but not the best. Little grub! Oh my gosh, no, another mimic! You son of a gun! There's only one of you, and it's this one. Nope, it's not this one. Aw, little grub! Alright, you can die, too. Yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't know they could mimic the rescue sound, too. Flipping. I hate how they look like grubs after they've died. Alright, well, thank goodness... I am hopefully forever done with this place. I never want to come back here again. No, sir. I would rather just leave. Alright, how do I get out of here? Sir, back off. Uh, nope, I have to go this way. Yeah, no, don't you lunge at me. Alright, I'm just getting a great slash ready for the next one. Yep, gotcha. <laughs> I like that I've got full mobility with that. That's so great. All right, and then I could go to Moss Profit. Or I could go to Queen Station. You know what? If I go to Queen Station, then I can save right there. And I can... Uh, what's the word? Oh, yeah, I can go back to the Fog Canyon place I missed. Uh, is this the right way? Yeah, this is still the right way. Hello, little guy. Alright, so 
Again, we're back to me having no idea how long this episode is going to be because I am cutting out so much of that Nosk fight. Holy crap. I don't know how many attempts it took me. It took at least... Uh, let's see. I probably did four while I was talking. Probably another three while I wasn't. I don't know. It took me at least seven attempts. Let's just go with that. Yeah, okay. Queen Station directly to... Okay, just checking. I've been through here uh, a while ago. Oh no, never mind, I, thought, I can't go over that. But I guess, you know, it doesn't hurt to recheck things. Especially since the last time I went through there, I actually found a Wanderer's Journal. Oh, Staggy Boy. He's not here, but that's okay. There's no stag stations in Fog Canyon, right? Dang, that's annoying. All right, well, I will go back through Fungal Wastes to get up there. And once I get up there and go through that rectangular area, that's probably when I'll call the episode. But until then, onward! You, sir, can die again. You're just a glutton for punishment, aren't you? Glutton for death. Is I wonder, is that... Do people have a thing for death in games where people can actually, like, canonically respawn? Like, I don't know a games that actually... A whole lot of games that actually, you know, acknowledge that characters can die and come back so blatantly but like Undertale you know, I like I wouldn't put it past Kara to you know just have this sick um, interest in death like it all they almost like it <laughs> oh sir wow you took a full descending dark and three hits that's impressive and three nail hits I Descending Dark technically hit him three times, right? I think so. All right, now then. Excuse me, let me up. Yes. Let's see. I should save at this bench, too. I don't suppose you have anything more for me, do you? Nope. Do you not sell any? So... The charms I got from him can break, so will he sell them again if I break them? See, I never want to use them because they can break. Oh, dang. <laughs> I forgot he doesn't really provide me any extra height. All right, here we go. All right, so it's the first room on the left. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, he... All right. Oh, no. Oh, okay, cool. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right. Now I know to absolutely avoid anything and everything the color orange. Oh, I smacked it into acid. Okay, that's cool. I like that. It actually disintegrates down here. All right. So I went to the left before. I did not come up here. So... Yeah, I'm willing to use a little bit of soul to save my life. You know, technically it's more efficient. And, oh, I saw two explosions, so I hoped. Um, but it's more efficient for me to use one shade soul than it is for me to get hit and heal. Because, A, those things do two masks of damage, which means... And, you know, I would have to use twice as much healing as normal to get back to full health. And B, um, focus isn't affected by efficiency. You know, the... Um, oh, I was standing a little too close, dang it. Isn't affected by the soul efficiency charm I've got. I really want more soul. I don't like this at all. <laughs> okay. This is so sketchy. Uh... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. It almost knocked me back into this. I don't like this at all. 
Oh, mama, I'm in. Oh, yeah, that hurt. Why is this a thing? Is it for you? Charm Notch? Oh, baby, let's go! I did not think I was going to be getting another Charm Notch in this game. I thought I was all maxed out. Oh, yeah, Dream Gates. <laughs> I forgot about these. Um, another freaking Charm Notch. That's amazing. Yeah, you know what? Sure. Oh, you're right. I gotta be at a bench. <laughs> so, this changes. This... This opens up new opportunities for combat. Like, I'm excited now. Um, yeah. Man. I, I'm just kind of in shock now, because I really did not think I was going to be getting any more charm notches. That is amazing. I'm so glad I came back here. All right, you know what? I can probably do a little more episode, right? Uh, we can get that grub above me in uh, green path. Right, yeah. Okay, now then, I'm going to just swim below all of you. Because I ain't dealing with your crap. You guys, on the other hand, I will gladly take all the soul I can get from you. Because I still need to heal one. And, uh, that was a lot of soul. I liked that. Alright, now then. Eat. Um, yeah, I just gotta go all the way through here and then up to Green Path. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Cornifer isn't humming anymore. Dude ain't here. I, I really wonder if he's just chilling at his shop. Maybe I'll go check right after this. Right after I go here. Maybe I'll try to head back to, uh... Also... You know what? Just because I want to try this. Oops, hold on. There we go. That's a dream gate. You, sir. What do you mean? Yeah, there we go. He dead now. Okay, um... So I've got a dream gate right there. That's so cool. What the heck? Okay, what room is that? What room is that grub in? Oh my gosh, hold up. Hold up a second. I wasn't planning on this, but I just realized Stone Sanctuary. I kept seeing it on the map and just didn't think anything about it. This place was pitch black last time I came here, and I've never been back with the lantern, have I? Yeah. So what's up in here? Yeah, because last time I just hopped through here in the dark and actually got surprisingly far. Yo, oh, dang it, I tried. Oh, well, I've got health. It's good. There, yeah, I definitely didn't make it to this part in the dark. Oh, okay, we're fine. Yeah, I came over here. Oh. I made it to that statue in the dark. But since I hadn't done something or other, I don't remember exactly what point I started encountering all those dream people um, but since I hadn't done it yet I couldn't have interacted with them. oh I found it the last mask fragment oh! <laughs> bow to me mortals is there anything up here anything suspicious oh. stone sanctuary is just right there all right, well, I didn't save at the bench, but I can use the dream nail to get back here, theoretically. So, do you have anything to say? No eyes? My child, can you still see? Please, don't hurt me. Can't sleep with your eyes open, little one. Can't dream if you're still breathing, little one. That's not how it works. Precious children, you speak such loathsome things as you sleep. Your claws scratch and scrape. Precious children, a monster has come for us in the dark. Will you sing for me? Okay, so this is a challenge. I don't see why not. 
Oh, you're singing. Oh, what the heck? What is going on here? Okay, what the flip? You can... How, what do I do about this? This is strangely tame and calming. And it gives me weird vibes. This is whack. I like it. Oh, uh, no! Oh, I tried to shade dash through, but I was a little too slow. Alright, I feel like if I just take this one with a little bit of patience, I should be able to do it fine. I almost messed that up hard. It's okay. You just... Can you stop teleporting so intensely? Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Alright. Yeah, you yourself do not do much attacking. You just got... Or any attacking, really. You just got a bunch of crap floating around. Yeah, that's three before you teleported. Get on my level. Ow. So, do you have, like, a pattern for how much you teleport, or what? Also, this is a really easy one to heal on. Because, like I said, she's not aggroing me. She's just got crap floating around. Ow. Okay. You know what? I'll just heal. That's fine. <laughs> I'm, like, perfectly safe to heal down there as long as I get those things on the up thing. Yeah, that was incredibly easy. One by one, their eyes closed at last. I realize I just changed the voice. I'm adapting it to the singing I just heard. <laughs> I felt it, a warm stillness falling over us. I'm sorry I was frightened by you. You were always protecting us, even when we couldn't see you. Take us there, please. A place where light cannot haunt us. A place without dreams. Please. A hundred? Yo, that one gave me 200? That was so easy. Yep, still a face card from stone. Okay. Well, that was pretty simple. All right. Time to get that grub, and then I really will end the episode. That was pretty great. I like that fight. See, that's the kind of fight I can handle. What did I just say? Oh. You know, like, when I got hit on that one, that was completely my fault. Also, I've got eight masks of health. Let's freaking go. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. I am still going up, right? Yeah. The grub is above the hunter. I should probably... Hold on. Hold on. Let me... Yeah, don't explode on me yet, please. I want this bench. Thank you, sir. And back out we go. I feel so busted. I've... You can't tell me this isn't the maximum amount of masks, right? I mean, naturally, without charms. Because there's at least two charms that give you more health, right? Including, you know, lifeblood one, whatever it's called. All right, Hunter's right there. Mm. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, so... But surely... I didn't get an achievement for that, did I? But there can't be any more mask fragments, can there? I really don't feel like there are. But also the fact that I didn't notice an achievement is a little suspicious to me. Did I just not have wall jump when I came through here? Huh. How interesting. Cornifer. Yes. You know what? I do want to pop up the dirt mouth, though. Yeah, okay. That's where I'll end the episode. So I'll meet you there. Alright, here we are. Now, I have two reasons for ending the episode here. One, I just want to see if Cornifer's up here. Two, I can go straight for Grey Prince Zote after this. Um, first of all, I always have to check. Do you have anything new? Oh, come on, yeah. Hmm. Sly, that's your name? Ha! Huh. I remembered. Not really. Hmm. You seem a little different. Something has changed in your bearing. Ah, the way you hold your nail. So you learned to nail art. Very interesting. I wonder, do you have the passion to continue your training? What? Wait, hold up. 
Oh, so there's a difference. I can listen to you now, then. You found a new nail, then. It looks much like... Or it looks like a much finer weapon than the last. Hmm? Oh, this is the same nail? But it's been honed by someone extremely skilled. A nail is an extension of ourselves. It is the instrument by which we shape the world around us. It's a sacred duty to keep its edges sharp. Heh, <laughs> sorry. I shouldn't ramble on like that. Let's talk to you instead. <laughs> I see they've opened that mapping shop across the way. I suppose a little competition is healthy. It's not really competition. Oh, unless you do that. <laughs> Perhaps I should start to sell maps as well. Or is that a little too aggressive? Heh, <laughs> all's fair in a world made of geo. Pockets feeling empty? If you need some more geo, take a trip into the ruins below us and hunt around. Just take care not to fall into a haze. I won't be coming down to rescue you. I rescued you, fool. Okay, yeah, that's all you got. I didn't know I could just listen to him. What do you have to say? To each dirt mouth, most travelers take cir circuitous routes around the cliffs beside us. It's a hard trek now, but in the kingdom's prime, things were far simpler. There's an old pass in the cliffs that once allowed easy access. The bridge up to it has long since crumbled away, and even without it, a huge door bars entry. I can't complain, mind you. It's meant we've only ever had to accommodate a trickle of travelers, even during our busiest times. I wouldn't want hordes of bugs to descend on their mouth. I like the quiet. Hmm. Alright. Yo. Yup, he's here. I can listen to you, okay. Cornifer's home at last, but look at him. He's exhausted. He always does this, furiously charts a place, and then collapses once he's done. He'll be sleeping for some time, I imagine, so even with him home, I'll still, I'm still lost for company. I Iselda, that's your name. Ah, but I do love the bug, even his faults. Seeing his passion for maps, it's something of an inspiration. Corny keeps... Corny. <laughs> Corny keeps asking me to join him on his adventures, and I've always declined. Maybe next time I should accept the offer. Anything else to say? Of all the places to end up, we've picked this dreary town. I'd thought it a temporary stop. Then my husband became obsessed with that old ruin. Now he's spending all his time down there. He argues cartography is sound business, but other than you, who's buying? <laughs> you right. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself down in the ruins? At times my hu Yeah, at times my husband makes Hollow Nest sound like a wonder, but sometimes it seems a ghastly, dangerous place. I'd say the second one more so. Huh. So this whole time I've been able to talk to them normally, but just haven't. I, I have no other reason to talk up here, do I? 38? <laughs> Beware the mysterious force pushing us down. If you spend too long in the air, the force will crush you against the ground and destroy you. <laughs> Alright, well, Dark... Dark Prince, huh? <laughs> Gray Prince, so it's a story for another time. But for now, that's our episode. So thank you everybody for watching. And like bacon, stay crispy, my friends. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.